Hello everyone, welcome to the Devputer Software. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel Devputer Software. And if you are already subscribed, do not forget to press on the bell icon. Today we will learn uh, the linked list concept, so singly linked list, how to build a singly linked list. So I have explained using the uh, here presentation of the how the each and every node will be connected and also later on uh, in the video I have explained how you can create the program for building a link list uh, in the C++ so please watch video till the end for understanding full concept so let's start so uh, link list consists of the several nodes so several nodes are connected with each other if you consider like a train so each and every uh, nodes are connected so kind of that way so uh, that linked list node contains the two part so in the first part data will be stored data of linked list and second will be linked so it will be linked to the next uh, linked list node so let's allocate it no, uh, one memory for the node so at the 200 memory location we created one node and in that we store 70 uh, value and in the second part uh, we will store the address of the next node so let's create another linked list node on the 100 memory location and here we store the 65 data and uh, in the uh, link part we will store the address so now modify the link part of the uh, first node so we added 100 so which is the address of the second node okay so it's connected now we created the third node on the 400 memory location and we added 45 uh, value and uh, it will be null and will be null so now on the second node if you see we added 400 which is the address of the sec uh, third node now we created the fourth node uh, on the 500 memory location and store the 62 values and on the null we replace in the third uh, node as a 500 we will replace so it will connect it to the fourth node and in the last node there is a null value so yeah so if you see now here so in the first node here 100 we have added so which is the address of the second node so it is connected here in the second node we have added 400 which is the address of the third node so it's connected here and kind of that way 500 which is connected here and last node it will be address will be null because it is not connected so this way we can easily create a link list uh, so i hope you understand the basic concept of link list now i will explain you how we can implement in the uh, programmatically so now we will understand like how we can create a linked list into the uh, C++ program so I'm using the Visual Studio so in that I have created one uh, C++ code so if you see here we have to create one class for the one node okay so let's consider class node so which contain the public member integer data and the uh, node pointer uh, to that link okay so again the same uh, link to the next node so here two elements will be there data and link into the our class okay so now in our main program uh, so this this is the structure of the each and every uh, node of the link list so data and link now in the main program we will create three nodes so let's say uh, there is a node first this is the second and this is the third okay so three nodes are there which are the right now blanks uh, we have assigned and now we are allocating into the heap so these three nodes will be allocated into the hit, uh, heap so first we have allocated equal to new so new allocate memory into the heap so first node is created then second is created and then third is created okay so now we want to link one two and three into the continuous single linked list okay so how we can do so uh, these three nodes are created individually okay now we will link uh, and assign the data and address so for the first uh, we are assigning that data to the one okay value one and first link we will assign a second so right now we have just consider that you have not created and so you don't know so now uh, you created uh, added that uh, uh, data to the second okay so second dot data will be uh, two and the second of link will be third so now if you add here uh, second so it will it will uh, so it will uh, connect it with the second node so it will be like this way if you see here uh, so one will be connected with the two 
so two nodes are connected now we will connect with the third one so we are assigning here thirds address and here value will be three so uh, continuously one two and three kind of that way uh, that uh, linked list will be created okay so now uh, if you want to see in the visual studio uh, you can just debug that code okay once i, I debug then uh, you will able to see so here breakpoint is hit here so now if i hover on the my third node so you can see that third is containing uh, three data and null at the end because at the end of the uh, linked list node will be null address because it's not connected with the any node so now if i uh, hover on the first so this is the our first node so which is one and which is uh, contain the address of the another node now if i click here so it contain the address of the second node which again contain the address of third node so if i click here then this will be third node so kind of that way our linked list is connected so yeah it's easy to understand uh, using this program so now i hope your uh, linked list related concept uh, is clear if any doubt you can uh, write in comment and i have also created many other videos for the data structure and linux kernel and all the technical videos so if you like uh, technical stuff videos please subscribe to my youtube channel devbuter software thank you